Welcome to Introduction to White Box Learning Competition. So we've been designing and saving cars, redesigning, making sure our cars are meet our specs and stuff like that. At some point, you want to see how your car performs. So we're going to enter the competition. What you will do is, uh, plain and simple, you've been saving your car to enter competition. So at some point, you're going to see cars in the competition area. So what you're going to do, doesn't matter... Um, what we have open we're going to go to competition and if you notice right now you have your competition window you got your racetrack over here with different camera views things like that and we have our competition tabs here the entire district which is our group only again our group if you want to specifically work see just the people that are in your class or just specifically your designs okay when you go and look at this and as more people get cars designed and saved into competition this list will get longer and longer and longer especially if you stay in this group then what you're going to want to do here is you got a couple more tabs you always want to look for make sure you have staged cars you look you're going to find your car so right now i have two staged cars and if you notice they're here billy bob and peggy sue Okay, they tell you whose car it is, and they tell you where it came from. So do Prague School, middle school, okay? Um, when you want to do your competition, you always want to do against cars that are qualifiers. Now, these are cars that fall into this category, have already raced once, and they, then, and they meet their specifications, and they fit into this category, and there'll be a list of cars here. And then if you find this category, the out-of-spec cars, these are the cars, again, have also raced but did not meet the specs. So somebody saved and entered a competition, a non-spec car, and it's in here. You don't want to race against these cars because they aren't going to give you the correct competition that you are looking for. So you're always going to want to race cars that are in qualifiers. okay? Or if you find cars here that are in stage, that works too. OK, so right now I'm just going to show you how you would set up a race between two cars. So I'm going to pick my car here. And if I click on it, it says, do I want to make a contender one or contender two? So I'm just going to say contender one. That means that if I click on the other car, I want to make that contender two. Once I click that, it's going to flip to the race screen and we're going to go through a race. So uh, we do that and I'm going to. Click on the button down here that says start, and we flip to that, and here's the race. So this is contender one. Contender one is always going to be a, a car, or the car that's in the first one. Contender two is gonna be the car in your second track. And then you race your cars. And what I've always found interesting is a car that race they race here for about five seconds or so maybe a little longer but when you notice the results come up the times are less than a second so it just makes it an interesting thing but now you take a look at it okay here was the name of the cars billy bob and peggy sue um we know where they came from this was the mass of your car, 102.61 and 113.16. And then we talk about surface friction, which is something that was discussed in the research. And drag, which is stuff that was discussed in the research. Cost, we're not really looking at. And then this is an important thing. Was it an in-spec car? They both were in-spec. And then your time, 1.7696 and 1.9 seconds. And if it lights up green like this here, or it says the winner is Billy Bob, that's who won the simulation. Okay, that's who won the simulation. So now you know how fast your car went. Your goal now after competition is saying, hey, I can make my car quicker. You know, and somebody else can see results too, and they can say, I can make my car quicker. And then they go back and start modifying and, and designing, uh, redesigning their car, and then go race again and see, did your car get quicker? Did it get slower? Just keep in mind one thing you want to do, especially for a spreadsheet assignment that you are going to get, um, you always want to make note of what is the mass of your car and the car you raced, and what is the time that your car had and the time of the car you raced because those are some of the data points we're going to collect for our spreadsheet. Um, when you're done doing that, we can reset the simulation 
and you notice that there's nothing staged right now because these cars had not raced before. So we are going to go and say, okay, but now if you notice, we have two qualifying cars. So these cars now are qualifying cars that can race anybody. So now if I want to save file, uh, save a different one in here, I can pick one of these cars to race still. Okay. Um, now, one of the things that I want to show you is the fact that after you have done this, you are going to find that when you go to file, and you're not going to see it now when I open it, but I'm going to file and I'm going to open and I'm going to open Peggy Sue, it still says staged. Okay. I'm going to open Billy Bob, it still says staged. That's fine. What happens here is I'm going to do this real quick. I'm going to log out. I'm going to log back in. I'm going to go to, um, I'll just open engineering. It doesn't really matter which one I open. We got to wait for it to load up everything. And then go back to file, open, open Peggy Sue. And now we have at one that said stage says now in spec. And I go to Billy Bob, and the one it said in uh, said staged up here, it now says in spec. So what that means is now that car is an in spec car that I will use for grading. Your goal is to when you hand your your items in when your research and your worksheets and all that stuff is due that we talked about. One of the things that is due is your in spec cars. Okay. You need to have the appropriate amount of green tabs. Doesn't matter right now because these are both my cars, Peggy Sue and Billy Bob. I have currently two in-spec cars. These don't count. These never raced. This one has raced and is in-spec. This one is raced and is in-spec. So you're looking for the total number of green tabs in any of your cars up here so in one car in two cars in 20 cars it doesn't matter as long as you have the specific number of inspect cars that is requested by your instructor to have on the due date then you are good so that's how you check that remember to log out and then log back in to see if it uh, logs it in as an inspect car and then what time you want to know what how many inspect cars i have just go to open and go through each car and look for the green tabs that you have. So thank you for watching. Please proceed with the next steps as assigned by your instructor.